Well, hi, this is Ed Baig with USA Today. Virtual reality is becoming a big deal, and I'm going to check it out by putting on the Samsung Gear VR goggles. So right now I'm in a movie theater. I'm actually watching a trailer from the movie Interstellar. And when I say I'm in a movie theater, I feel like I'm really in one of these big old-fashioned cineplexes. Uh, I can look around. I see rows of seats. In fact, I can actually see a reflection off the the big screen, the, the trailer playing in front of me against all the seats. As I look back up, I can actually see the tiny projector room with the where the movie's playing from. And when I look down, I'm looking at a movie theater floor, and I almost feel like if I put my feet down, they may get stuck against a sticky floor. Now, it doesn't take too long to figure out basic navigation. Of course, you're moving your head up and down and swiveling in either direction. But there is some basic navigation on a touchpad here. You can swipe, you can tap. There's a back button right here. The other thing to keep in mind is the focus button up top, which you may have to fiddle with so that what you're seeing is indeed in focus. I'm now uh, taking a flyover tour over Iceland, which is actually very green looking down. When I look up, I actually see a helicopter when I look down, I'm looking into a gorge. There's a little bit of a waterfall down there. Looking out over a mountainous area, it's very beautiful. You feel like you're really part of it. You're really inside. And again, looking up, I see this big helicopter above me. Here's a stunning waterfall. I, I feel like I could even take a leap in, into this pool area here. It's very realistic. In fact, if you're afraid of heights, there are some views where you may be a little bit afraid to, to look down. It's very cool. So what is it going to take for virtual reality to become a reality for the mainstream? Well, it's going to take a few things. Certainly, it's going to take content. We're going to see more and more of that as we move forward. Uh, Oculus has a store. Oculus, of course, is working with Samsung on the Gear VR device here. Uh, Samsung has what they call a Milk VR app. Uh, we've seen uh, the NBA record its all-star game in, uh, in virtual reality, and some of that content will be made available here. There's lots of other content coming, still rather thin. This particular device, Gear VR, for now only works with Samsung's Galaxy Note 4 phablet phone. Now, it's a very nice phone. I like it a lot, but certainly, not everybody has that device, and that's the only compatible device, at least for the moment. Uh, if you want it, it's going to cost approximately $300 with a two-year contract, and that's, of course, on top of the $200 or so that you'll pay for the Gear VR. I don't think that's a bad price for what a lot of people think, me included, is a very awesome experience, but, but $200 on top of whatever you're going to pay for the Galaxy Note phone is a bit too much for a lot of people. And frankly, if you're already happy with the phone you already have, uh, you're not going to trade it in just for the VR experience, no matter how cool it might be.